Good morning everyone and welcome to Mainly Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jesse and today we're gonna to be doing some duck hunting. All right, so really this morning I'm more doing some scouting than I am hunting. Uh, initially I haven't seen anything out on the water yet and a lot of it's kind of starting to freeze up. So. That's not gonna do us much good, but I'm still gonna poke my head in a little bit and see if I can't see any ducks on the bank. And it's potentially a spot we could hunt in the future. Uh, but later today, I'm really going to meet up with Aaron. Aaron's a good friend of mine, and we're gonna travel a little ways up the coast and go hunt a different part of Maine. So, that, um, so that's gonna be a little bit later this morning. We're gonna do some scouting. If I see a duck, I'll take it. Uh, but really I just wanted to go check out a spot before I met up with Aaron and we move our way up the coast So I'm gonna poke around and see if I find any ducks you guys will find out if I do so anyway I'm gonna get the GoPro on my head and We'll get looking around and see what's here Well no ducks, but what I am seeing a ton of coyote tracks coyote and fox no ducks though, but of course uh, the water is completely iced up, so have to get kind of lucky on that. Where there's a lot of coyotes and foxes, you do tend to find rabbits. It's a good sign of it. Plus we have a high growth forest that had been thinned, and then below it a lot of regeneration, cover for the rabbits. They, they really like that type of habitat. Here's a rabbit track right here. This is from early last night. Barely any snow covering it. Mm. I might change my mind from scouting and focus on the rabbits. Okay, well, no luck there. Actually, I don't think I caught it on camera, but right at the end, two black ducks swoop in right where I started, crossed over a river where I couldn't get to them fast, and then landed. So, unfortunately, since I have to go meet Aaron at 9.30, I couldn't take the chance to go after them. But that was good to see, because I was about to write this spot off. It's enough to convince me to come back and look at a different time. I also saw a lot of rabbits there, so. Potentially I could uh, hunt some rabbits around here. Would you guys want to see a rabbit catch and cook? Because if so, comment down below. And I might do it at this very spot because there was a lot of sign of rabbits in there. But not my focus. He's not today. Let me know if you want to see that though. Let's go meet Aaron. See some deer. There's a group there too.
All right. All right, we got two female buffalo heads. We got one, and Aaron got another. You haven't introduced yourself. You want to state your name and purpose? My name and purpose. Uh, uh, my name's Aaron. I'm uh, trying to finish up my college degree around down East Maine and got into duck hunting while I was down here and got addicted and figured I'd get someone else addicted too. Yeah, we got two there. Unfortunately, we missed a swarm of black ducks. GoPro probably wasn't running. In fact, I gotta face the sun. I don't think my GoPro was running at all for that either, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to tinker with it and fix it before we run into more ducks. Um, but we'll see. At least for now, I got that one buffle head, and that means that I can do a catch and cook. Aaron's got to run off later, so I'll probably cook it up then. But let's see if I can't get one on film before that. So <laughs> we'll keep going. Maybe I'll have to keep this big camera out. Here's mine. Aaron's got his there. Two nice ducks. I still have yet to shoot a male. There was one. I don't know. There was a male, but I had already beat it onto that female and. Uh, once you're on something, you just don't switch. And one with that got it. And I took several shots to actually finish it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep going. Hopefully we see some more black ducks. <laughs> Gotta get something if I miss shooting the duck. Get some outtakes. Maybe I'll get you falling in the mud. <laughs> well, then you'll, I'll never let it go. Got right oh. there. That was a crow. Yeah, it was a redneck slip and slide. <laughs> Worse than just the cart. No, it's a down east slip and slide. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Oh, redneck. Oh, redneck. And that More or less heading up. As long as we don't give them a reason to look up in here. Oh. Yeah, they're not going to check this tree line. Big group. Big group of? Blacks. Blacks. Drop our stuff here. Got that one. Got that one too. Oh, I hit him. No, he's not going down. I think that was a nick, but. Nice. Dude, oh, it was all you, dude. That was all you, my friend. Was it? Yeah. I can't tell. Geez, we peppered that bank. Oh, yeah. You see that over there? I really can't believe we didn't get that second one. It happens. Watch out for the honey pots. It's gonna stay up here where it's solid. Oh, no way. What is it, banded? It's my first male. Oh, nice. I finally got a male. Dude, that is so much bigger than the other ducks. That is a hardy, hardy bird. How are the wings? Are they attached? Yeah, beauties. All right, well, we should have, could have got two there, but this is a male, right? Yeah. But I shot there. my first male. How many ducks? Four ducks in, and I finally get a male. Five. Five ducks in, yeah. Dude, those are nice. My girlfriend's going to be thrilled. I might pluck it and bake it. The whole thing to a roast duck? Yeah. Stop All right, so. Hopefully I got that one on film. Thanks again, Aaron, for putting me on some ducks. Appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, 
successful hunt. Maybe I'll do a catch and cook if I don't go with Aaron to his uh, event that he has going on. But yeah, good spot and stock. Awesome. Thanks for bringing me out here, dude. Uh, first male, good day. Not even beat up. No. One good pellet, that's all it takes. Sweet. So excited, guys. You can see the size comparison. We got the Drake Black Duck, and then this is the female buffle head. Really fortunate to get that one. Very happy with that. Look at the size of it, just a huge duck. It's gonna make a great catch and cook later and some good feathers to tie with. Very nice. All right guys, what's up? So Aaron had to take off, but he left me behind. <laughs> so I'm out here and uh, hopefully hopefully he gets back in time because I got, I got a little while to hunt. Let's see. So I got a little while to hunt. I actually just saw a black duck over there, so I'm talking a little quieter. I'm going to see if I can jump shoot that one, and then I brought along um, four decoys that I can throw out and sit on until the sun sets. Um, so I'm going to see if I can sneak up on this guy, maybe get my second black duck. And He's right over this knoll. I just need a little bit of luck. And I'll... Let's do this. Uh, should have got that one. Okay. I don't really know what to say about that one. <laughs> that was totally my fault. Perfect position. In fact, I was probably a little too close. My group was a little too tight, and that's probably why I missed. Uh, but still, I, I, I think I should have just taken my time. I was just shooting shots off one after another. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? That would have been perfect. I would have got my limit of black ducks. Really disappointed. Ah, and it's no nothing to blame but myself on that one. That was those were bad shots. That's gonna do it for today. It's past shooting light. I already got the gun unloaded. Uh, unfortunately, or I mean, fortunately, we got two ducks. Really happy with that. And I totally botched a shot back here. But anyway, uh, this actually doesn't conclude the video. We're gonna make this into a catch and cook. But first, I have to hike my way out of here. Aaron actually left me here, so hopefully he is going to come back and meet me at the road. I really don't know, but I don't know him too well, but hopefully he doesn't just ditch me here. Last time. What do you think, kitty? Maybe a big duck? It's a huge duck. It is a stud. There's a new 
frying pan. Oh, good. That'll be much better. That is way better. It's like a copper coated. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely not small. I actually have another one too. I have another buffalo head. Nice. I'm excited. I am. So excited. Mm -hmm. And this is what I got. Did you get my Oh, yeah. What recipe did you choose? It was the cranberry sauce one. Balsamic vinegar and honey. Okay, I'm gonna go out and clean the two ducks and then we can get cooking. You sure you don't want to hold it? Mm -hmm. Okay, suit yourself. Well, I am just taking the skin off of the buffalo head because it really helps with the flavor, but look at these giant chunks of black duck. These I will leave the skin on because they taste really good and it'll help cook it up with that fat. So those are staying intact. But to get rid of some of the fishy flavor that come with buffalo heads since it, since it is a fish duck, I usually just take off the skin. And the best way I've found to do that so far is just to slice it a little bit with a knife when needed and then run it under some lukewarm water. It really helps remove it. I'm just gonna season with some, some salt, pepper, and then garlic, so SPG. We're so keeping it pretty simple. Slightly raw on the inside, and that's fine because we're gonna finish that up cooking. We're gonna finish this up cooking in the, the sauce that we made for a couple of minutes. Hi, how's it going? Okay, so this recipe also calls for us to make a sauce, and the sauce we're gonna add some cranberries, honey, and then balsamic vinegar as well. And so, what'd you say? It was a half cup of cranberries, half cup of honey. Yes. And then a half cup of balsamic vinegar. No, so a fourth cup. Of a fourth vinegar. cup of balsamic vinegar. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to add that right to the pan with a little bit of duck fat in it already. So we'll get started with that. So we'll put the cranberries in first. And then I'm just going to... These are weird looking cranberries. You should have bought fresh ones. No, it's, it calls for dry ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So about a half cup. And then... Half cup of honey. That's a lot of honey, don't you think? Hmm. <laughs> that looks so cool. Mm. That's a lot of honey. Interested to see how this turns out. Kind of a different recipe. But Marin picked it out, so hopefully it's going to turn out good. So we're going to bring that to a boil and that's going to act as our sauce and then we're going to slice up the, oh, that's the wrong cover, then we're going to slice up the duck that we just had or I'm at least going to slice up the black duck and then put that in for another couple minutes to let it finish up cooking. No, no, no. It would make a mess.
Yes, I did that in the back of my truck. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't clean it in the... <laughs> no, I mean, there, there's literally, it's amazing how much... Oh, I'm going to say my chair's pretty heavy. Kill me, yeah! <laughs> I'm going to tip it. Oh. 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 Okay. I think he's hanging on. Alright, I just gotta get your opinion. It okay. smells good, right? It's like, he has to convince himself. Yeah. What do you think? Mm hmm Describe it to me. Um. Did you try the black tuck? Yes. Compare it to the, the buffalo head. I guess the one that we had last time did taste a little more fishy. Yeah, that makes sense. But we did use cranberries and vinegar on this, so. Kind of like a holiday dish. Yeah, and I think the cranberries kind of add to that holiday vibe. Um, but overall, you like it? Yes. I like this one more than the uh, last one we had. Yeah, that, that's also mixed in there too. I don't think I gave you a piece of it. No, it's just getting warm. Okay, we'll try it out. Recipe, I'm gonna get a better knife. The knife suck. They literally are awful. I'm gonna get you some more of these. Some Cypress Creek knives. <laughs> How well that cuts. Way better than yours. Okay, so this is the black duck. Hmm. Well, that's good. It's hard to say the flavor. I mean, I've tried it before. It tastes a lot less fishy than the, uh, what's it called? The buffalo head. But the buffalo head was also mixed in there, so you kind of still get a little bit of that flavor but the fat tastes way better. The cranberries, uh, I've tried this with partridge before, and I find the cranberries with a darker meat are much better. Mm. Yeah, that's super good. Are you good? No, I gotta compare it to, <laughs> I gotta compare it to the buffalo head. Everyone's laughing at me. You guys wanna try duck? No. Okay. Oh, are you sure? No, yes. That was the one that I ate. This buffalo head, I'm gonna steal your buffalo head. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. Okay. It's definitely a lot tougher than the black duck. The texture is different for sure too. And you do, it It also is a little fishy, but I think overall they're both very good. But anyway, um, we'll wrap it up here. I guess my battery is dying. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think the meal turned out really good. Would you agree, Mary? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good morning, evening, or night, whatever time it is when you're watching. Got like a live audience you want to show them. Aww. None of them want to try duck. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. See you guys.